Hi folks, welcome back to another video in our Math 119 Elementary Statistics class. Um, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how we actually do the sampling methods and rather, how do we use technology to do the different sampling methods, okay? And so we're going to actually break this video up into two pieces um, where we do... where we're gonna take a look at, in this video, the stratified and the cluster sampling. And then in the next video, we'll take a look at the simple random and the systematic sample, okay? So there, it's our first time looking at this technology together. So I wanna make sure we really have it uh, nice and clear how it is that we use StatCrunch to do these things, okay? So let's go back and look at the problem now. It says you are going to use a random number generator to generate different types of samples from the data. This table displays six sets of quiz scores. Each quiz counts 10 points for an elementary statistics class, okay? So we could sort of imagine this as if I picked six students and each of these six students had 10 quiz grades and we wanted to find different samples from these quiz grades, okay? And so the first one we're gonna take a look at uh, is the create a stratified sample by column. And just to remind us what that means, the stratified sample means that we're going to go ahead and take each column is going to be a group, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six groups. And from each of these six groups, we're going to go ahead and pick some number of data samples, okay? Now, it doesn't say in the question um, how many to pick from each column. So I'm going to say, let's just go ahead and pick three from each column, okay? So uh, in your homeworks and things like that, it'll be a little bit more clear, but let's just pick three per column, okay? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Before we go and use our technology, I wanna go ahead and number each of the rows, okay? Because what we're gonna be picking is like a spot in each row or rather like which one of those 10 quizzes do we wanna take a look at, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this will be quiz number 10. Okay, so now we're gonna shift gears a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and go to um, StatCrunch, okay? So you're gonna open up StatCrunch um, and what you're gonna do here, you're gonna go ahead to the top where it says applets and you're gonna click on that. And in the applets menu, if you look, there's a bunch of different things and we're going to learn how to do a lot of these things. But if you go down to where it says random numbers, all right, I'll give you a moment to find that with your eyes, random numbers, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And so the random numbers, I actually have uh, 10 different possible rows to choose from, okay? And so in this minimum value, I have one, but in my maximum value, I want 10. And of these 10 numbers, I'm gonna go ahead and choose three as a sample size, okay? And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna say, pick three rows that you're gonna use from each column to get your data points, okay? Um, we don't want any repeats because we don't want the same row or the same quiz more than one. So see how I've clicked allow repeats? We want to make sure that's off. No repeat. Okay. We're going to use the dynamic seed because that sort of resets it every single time and gets us a better, uh, a better sampling. And then in this top right hand corner, I'm going to go ahead and click compute. All right. So let me zoom in a little bit. But what this has here is that we are going to go ahead and choose in the first row or in the first column, we're going to choose row three, row one, and row five. Okay. So three, one, five means when I go back to that first column, I want to choose row three, row one, row five. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my other screen right now. And in this first column, if I were to go ahead and highlight row three, 
row one and row five, it means that the data sets I would choose from the first column would be five, nine, and seven. Okay. Now let's go ahead and we're going to go back and do the same thing for column two, column three, column four, column five, and column six. Okay. So I'm going to run that random gener number generator that I'm using in StatCrunch. And I can go ahead and close this if I want to show you how to do it again. So I go to applet. I go to random numbers, minimum value is one, maximum number is 10. And I want a sample size of three, dynamic seed, no repeats. And I'm gonna go ahead and click compute and I get nine, three, five, okay? So nine, three, five means I'm gonna go back to my question. And I'm going to choose row nine, row three, and row five. Okay. And so let me do this one more time, um, but I'm not going to do all of them just because I, I want you to get a chance to practice them on your own. So I'm going to do the first three. I'll let you do the last three by yourself. And if you list out all of those data points, then you're going to get the stratified sample by column. Okay. So let's go back to our number generator. Oops, that's not it. Number generator. And if I run it again, let's see. Applets, random number, minimum value one, maximum value 10, sample size of three, no repeats, dynamic seed, and compute. I get eight, one, and seven this time. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my notes and I'm gonna highlight the rows that I said, which I already forgot. So I'm gonna go back and look at that again. Uh, 817, okay, let's not forget that 817. I'm gonna go to row eight and row one, and row seven, okay? So the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine data values that I have right now are the stratified samples for the first three columns. And you can go ahead and repeat that for rows four, five, and six, okay? And then when you take all of those pink points together, that will be your stratified sample by column. All right, so I'm gonna erase what I have so that now I can go back and show you how to find a cluster sample by picking, uh, in this case, we want picking two of the columns, okay? So let me go ahead and erase what I have. All right, and let's go down and make sure we're reading the directions correctly. It says, create a cluster sample by picking two of the columns. And so remember, when we're looking at a cluster sample, we're still dividing into groups. So we still have these six groups, but instead of picking ones like different data values from each column, we're gonna say, we only want two of the six columns, okay? And we're gonna use our random number generator to find that. But let's say we run the random number generator and we get two and three, that would mean we would take these 20 data points and we wouldn't worry about the other 40 data points, okay? But if my random number generator said uh, one and five, that means I would take one and five, I would take these 20 data points, okay? So let's think about this. If I want to pick two of these six columns, it means that the minimum value is going to be one and my maximum value is going to be six, okay? And I'm going to ask the random number generator to generate two values so I know the two columns and I don't want them to repeat, okay? So I'm going to go back to my screen, my random number generator. I'm going to change this maximum to six, okay? I'm changing that maximum to six because I only have six columns. And my sample size is no longer three, but it's two because I only want two of the six columns, all right? I'm gonna run my sample, I get four and three. That means columns four and column three 
those are the columns that have the data points I want. Okay, let me go back to my notes. And that would mean that for the, whoop, for the cluster sample here, I would want all these 20 data points. So seven, five, 10, 10, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, and these 10, okay? All right, so I'm gonna stop this video here, but come on back for the next one where we talk about a simple random sample and a systemic sample.